guys, this is Tracy, and they call me the Diva. I'm Nicholas DeLeon, and they call me Nikon Kid. And together, we're the Billiard Talk Channel. How are you guys doing tonight? Hope everybody's had a great weekend. Uh, it's been a busy weekend, both for myself and for Mr. DeLeon. Yes, Nick, indeed. Uh, you were at the Texas Open, were you not? Yes, I was. I was there for all the events. Um, they put on a great show. The owners are absolutely amazing. The staff is great. The people that help out, you know, Ray Hansen jumps in and does the stream and um, um, and um, does the auction as well. And it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. And um, you got to see some really, really top heavy hitters out there. Fantastic. Well, while you were taking a vacation in my favorite spot ever, <laughs> I decided to head into town, into my hometown, Huntsville, Alabama, to Bumpers Billiards. They had a what we call the hot seat tournament, which this time Al has decided to change things up. And he's done a 720 and under Fargo rated tournament, which is also handicapped. Mm -hmm. It was oh, wow. an Yes. We had a four come up from the back end, which was um, actually JJ survived all the way through undefeated. It was insane. And he was a four. <laughs> wow. Really? That's awesome. Uh, your top three were uh, JJ Jarvis out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, he played as a four. AJ Jones and mm -hmm. uh, Dan Pickard. Dan is an eight and AJ Jones plays as a, played as a 10. It was like 4.30 in the morning when these guys were getting ready to battle it out. And AJ Jones would have had to defeat Mr. Pickard twice in order to win the uh, top spot. But I'm going to roll some of that footage for you guys so you can take yeah, it. Yeah, let's do it. It's uh, it was Bumpers is a gorgeous place. They have, I uh, believe it's around 20, 26 tables. I think they have eight, nine foot and 16 bar boxes. So it went quite quickly. And like I said, they had 82 players, but I'm going to roll that footage for you guys. So you can take a look. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief Welcome back, Nick. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are interested in playing in the Huntsville, Alabama tournament, um, Al Hammond has a schedule on his group page, which is Hot Seat Billiards. That's on Facebook. You guys can contact Al anytime, and he can get you signed up to that tournament. He should be having another one in uh, the next two months, I think, and it will go all the way through until December. If you play in every event, even if you don't place, you get an opportunity to play in the qualifying or the end event, which is in December. So check out Hot Seat Billiards on Facebook and contact Al Hammond. Also, Al does other things. He does videography for weddings and tons of things. So if you guys are interested in any of that stuff, contact myself or Autumn Grussell and we can hook you up with Al Hammond. Hell yeah. <laughs> It was a fantastic event. It, like I said, it didn't last long. They just kept trudging on ahead. Um, how, um, was the, how was the tables and the bars? And then, like, like, tell us a little bit about the pool room. Sure. When you walk through the front door, it's um, a shopping center type. So you've got, you know, that whole wide open feel, very similar to what you had over at Skinny Bob's. You know, it's just wide open. Uh, you walk through the front door, the bar is right there in front of your face. And when you look to the uh, right hand side, there is nothing but diamond tables with uh, blue Simonis cloth, Aramith pool balls, and wood. some of them have wooden racks and some of them have the metal racks. It just depends on which table you pick. Um, mostly, uh, there's a lot of league tournaments in there and a lot of mm -hmm. league play. You also have the master's division going out of there. Um, we also here in Huntsville, Alabama, we also hold one of your qualifiers for the US, U.S. amateurs. So if you guys are in the area and you're wanting to play in the U.S. amateurs out of Tampa, which was this past weekend, along with the Skinny Bob's tournament and the Huntsville tournament, um, you guys can contact, uh, Cindy Gilbreth. Harbin out of Huntsville, Alabama, or Lee Zier. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Um, 
let's see rolling on along we have a a couple of uh surprises tonight from what i understand mm -hmm. um yes, we have we a do. ladies night and nick didn't wear his dress no unfortunately <laughs> It was so hard to find a dress in my size and a wig at last second. But, you know, I, you know, I tried, I tried, I called them up and I was like, you know, I go, man, I go, can I just wear a dress and a wig and I'll play with Carlo Beato or I'll play with Alex. And they're like, unfortunately, no, I go, come on. I can go by the name. My mom calls me. And they're like, well, what's that? I go, Nikki. I go, it's very easy. That's and simple. I call you Nick, Nick. So, yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> so, you know, but unfortunately, they didn't go for that. So um, I already had a partner. Um, the person I stayed with, her and her husband, um, her husband couldn't really play. So um, I said I'd just team up with you. We did really good. We um, we took one out of the money, but we played really well, had fun for our first time ever playing scotch together. Awesome. And Carlo Biaro, last time he was here, he's all, hey, can you find me a partner for um, doubles? Or uh, maybe I should tell you the story when we get the the two in here. <laughs> how it gets together. I don't want to spoil it because well, it's actually cool really that you fun. hooked her up with Carlo, though. I mean, come yeah, on, it's you really funny get a better story, partner. Yeah, no, there's a little bit more to it too. When I messaged her, so I'll, I'll, I'll like to. Well, you can divulge myself. then. I'm huh? going to take a few minutes to uh, give a big shout out to my little friend Sarah from Aiken, South Carolina. Uh, she had tried to contact me while I was at Derby City and we were unable to get in touch. And bless her heart, she waited on me most of the time while we were at Derby City. So, Sarah, if you're watching, we haven't forgot about you. Have your yeah, mom yeah. contact Autumn. We have a little tiny surprise for you. So if you're watching, Sarah, contact Autumn Grisella. And I'm going to run that banner at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Contact Autumn sarah and tell her that tracy said i have a package for you nick and i are going to send you some goodies for uh being dedicated fans and watching us when we do our podcast and we want to say a huge thank you yeah we appreciate it a lot also i haven't got not one photo of a selfie of anybody with our friend in the background oh my god not like one I mean, where are you guys going? Like, we're giving away prizes. And all you have to do <laughs> is take a picture and have Corey Duell not even know that he's in the background doing it. And send it to us. That's it. That's it. And Very we pick simple. the winner to the funniest one. And if we just get one, guess what? You win. Yeah. I mean, I have plenty, <laughs> but I can't win. So I have to do Photoshop and I have to put Dory instead of, um, <laughs> instead of myself. Okay. okay, guys, remember, well, this is how it works. Nick's yeah. going to explain the rules. So you guys listen closely because, you know, uh, Action 24-7 really wants to give away some items. So you guys have to play. Nick, tell them how they win. Okay, first, let's start with, where, where's when's their deadline? Their deadline was 30 days from last Wednesday, and I will get an exact date for you for our next podcast. Okay, perfect. So you have until then, and... You have Oklahoma coming up. You Absolutely. have the Triple Clown coming up. You have Vegas coming up. And they can be old sure photos. We'll be at one of those events. <laughs> and whether he's shooting pool, whether he's eating, whether he's drinking. He's at the, well, at the, um, uh, he goes to the gym. I yeah, mean, whatever it is, <laughs> whatever it is, you do a selfie. Him getting in his car to leave. Yeah, you do a selfie with. Getting him in the background without him going, cheese. <laughs> or he can. <laughs> if he catches you, that's fine. But you can't tell him while you're doing it. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> true. Yeah, you can't. And all you have to do is send him in to that right email at the here. bottom of the screen. Send them to Autumn we Grisella. gather them and we go through them and we find out what you We will the post audience. them. All yes. of them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be all over. We're going to create another fan page for it. We're going to pick different players every month. It's going to be fantastic, guys. And Corey Duell will get a prize from us torturing him. Yes. Don't yes. think we're just going to leave poor Corey out. We're going to yes. make sure that Corey gets a really good hot meal. So yeah. he's going to get <laughs> a really nice dinner out of this. <laughs> so you guys have 30 days from last Wednesday, and I will make sure that I get a, a deadline for you. And uh, make sure that Action 24-7 knows what the deadline is so that they get those items ready. And they'll contact you and let you know what you won. 
Yeah, yeah. All right. So we are waiting on one more guest yeah. to come in. But we can talk to uh, one of them here in just a few moments. So let's yeah. answer some questions out of the chat while we wait on April. All right. Okay. Guess who's in the chat room? Oh. <laughs> Corby's in the house. Hey, Corby, how are you? What's going on, buddy? <laughs> I will have everything for you this weekend. So I will be there. Fabulous, fabulous. And we have Dusty Tables in the house. And he says, hey, Joseph, and all the rest. Hey, Dusty, yeah. we're glad to have you tonight. Yeah, um, we appreciate everybody that's joining us. We appreciate everybody that tunes in every week. Um, I know last week we got kind of like, or the week before we got kind of off track with us being very busy and everything. We didn't, couldn't go live. The place where I was at, which is Wisconsin, um, unfortunately I got sick, but the internet there was so hor so bad that you couldn't, like, it was so hard to even make a call, a text, unless you went outside. And I didn't think I wanted to do the podcast, um, in the snow. So I chose not to do it, but I ended up getting sick and I ended up having to come home, but, um, I'm better now. And, um, we're on track. We're all good. So we apologize for the, um, for not going live, um, two weeks ago. Welcome, Joseph Newcomb. Joseph Newcomb in the house. We also have Morris. Hi, Morris. Thank you for joining us from Indiana. We appreciate it. I was out there for the Indianapolis tournament, and I did a uh, nice little small interview with Shane McMahon. That was my first disaster. Hopefully, I've gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it wasn't a bad uh, little interview, and I just adore McMahon. He is such an awesome guy. Uh, I don't know who's going to win during that Chris and Shane uh, matchup. I'm just going to sit there and bite my nails, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a tough match. Race to 100. Um, it's going to be a marathon. It's going to be. I mean, Chris and I are friends, and Shane and I are friends, and it's just one of those I can't pick. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be tough for um, for both guys. So um, it's going to be whoever's – whoever's um, – Whoever's um, got that breakdown. Yeah. It comes to the break, the consistency, the the running out when you're supposed to get out. Um, it's going to come down to, to that. And I feel that um, Chris is a little bit more seasoned than, um, than Shane, but – you know, Shane plays great as well. So it's really He's a be tough. They don't call him Doomsday for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> that brat pack. What can I say? Hello, old school. Houston in the house. We appreciate Texas. Go, Texas. <laughs> and we also have Penguin. We appreciate everything you do for the house there, Penguin. You're always there to pull us out of the hole when we don't know what to say. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> silence. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to um get this person um ready so we can get um it all going. So I'm gonna keep talking to the chat room here. All right. Hello, Dave. Hello, hello, hello. So where's everyone from? We'll get a rundown right quick. If you guys can just do a roll call and let me know where you're from. We've got one from Houston, one from Indiana. And one from Virginia. Yeah, man. Tell us where you guys are all coming from. We like to know. <laughs> also, if there's even an event, if there's a big event out where you guys are out and where you live, what state, um, overseas, whatnot, you can send Autumn here on the bottom um, the flyers, and um, she'll give you the details on how to um, throw it up on our podcast and um, advertise for you guys. So, if you know any pool rooms that are holding big events as well coming up um, this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Ship it to us. Let us yeah. know what's going on. And if you guys give me enough notice, I can get over to your events. But you guys have to let me know a few months in advance as, if possible. We have North California in the house. Check it out. Hi, Dave. It's welcome, welcome, welcome. Southeast Tennessee. <laughs> well, since we're doing that, I'm from Arizona. Um, Huntsville, Abigail, Alabama. Arizona. <laughs> and Alabama. <clears throat> so we're Corby all says over. He's from his mom. He's a smarty pants. We're sending you back to Pluto where you need to go, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you win one event and now you're special. <laughs> God. <laughs> we're playing with you, Corby. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let the girls talk. I'm yes. Run their feed. And run their feed. Yes. 
and then we'll go from there, guys. Are you yes. guys ready for you guys? Some share away, gorgeous you're girls. Make sure you're sharing. Yeah, you're getting the females today. Share, share. All yeah. right. A couple more. Okay, Corby says I'm from Wyoming, and we have Ricardo. He says he's from Charlotte, North Carolina. I haven't been. Hey, there what's yet. going on, Ricardo? It's gorgeous. <laughs> All right, let me run that feed right quick while Nick's doing some other stuff. And this is what we got going on tonight, guys. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm awake. Up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring I just want a life that is worth every day exploring I My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me my whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Appreciate all that is vacant It's just for the taking If you make up your mind you can take it I'm never complacent I would work in a mansion or basement, yeah There's no replacement for persistence It's a patience, yeah In this life, I wanna be soaring To feel sun inside when it's pouring And I'll fight till anxiety is foreign I'm so sick of my mind's extortion my whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Um, and I started off, of course, playing in local tournaments. And then my family and I competed in junior nationals for, I don't know how many years. Um, I feel like it was six or seven years that we competed in junior nationals. And um, and it's been on, on and off since then. Okay, cool. Um, how old are you now? I am 33. You look 25. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Makeup. I was like, Makeup. six years ago, you were like, five, right? <laughs> I wish it was April to age. Oh, man. I, I wish I hey, I agree with that. I will agree with that. I will agree 100% with that right now because yeah, I would love to be 21 mean. playing it how I'm playing. <laughs> our eyesight is much better in our early 20s versus when we get older. Everything it, starts slipping I'm, just slightly. Mind, my guy. <laughs> well, you have a natural ability then. Thank you. So, uh, when you guys got to the Texas Open, um, did you have any nerves? How does it feel when you walk into an arena? Like when I was at the Texas Open back in August, you know, a lot of the girls had to go up against Ke uh, Miss Fisher, and that's a tall drink of water up there. <laughs> 
How did you guys feel going into the event, seeing who you're going to have to play against, even in the doubles? Mary? Or, yeah. Um, so I really... I really didn't have any, any expectations. Like I get nervous all in all because um, yeah, there are definitely some top players, but then at the same time, anything can happen in the game. Right. Too. We all, we all know this. Um, so at the end of the day, um, mentally you have to be there. You can make all the shots in the world, but mentally, if you're not there, you can easily lose. Um, so I knew, I knew April was competing and I knew a lot of the other girls and I was more excited. I was nervous. I'm nervous all the time, but I was even more excited to compete again with April and the rest of the women. Like, um, for instance, Ming, awesome player. And I, I love seen Ming. Her. She's one of my sweetest She's friends awesome. ever. She's awesome. And I haven't seen her in 20 years. She thought I was Michelle. <laughs> so, um, definitely nerves, but I was excited to see everyone. It's always a great reunion going to these tournaments. April, well, what about you? I mean, you got one awesome partner. Too. I know. I was about to. I was about to say. I was like, <laughs> "How did that happen? How did you get teamed up with him?" Because it's so hard. And don't get me wrong; like, it's great to see women team up with the pros, right? Like, any chance you can get that, I feel that the Texas Open was perfect time for that, and they do it during ten ball, and it's awesome because now you get two different styles and two different, you know, male female together, and seeing how they like clash together and everything. So tell us a little bit about how you started with, or how did you end up with Alex and then go from there? Yeah. So um, I played with Alex at the Omega open last year. Um, was that in like, it was in Aiken. Yeah, something? that was in Aiken. I remember you playing with Alex there. <laughs> yep, yep. So I was actually supposed to play with Omar and he couldn't make it. So then um, once I figured that out, you know, I reached out to a couple people and they said, you know, I think Alex is going to be there and I think he would actually play with you. Like, let me reach out to him. And they asked and he was like, yeah, of course. I was like, wow. Okay. Amazing. I mean, you couldn't get a better partner. He's so much fun. Hey, he I offered like dress a up as a fun. female to play with him and I got told no. So I'm telling you. Alex doesn't want to play with you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> but Honestly. To be Tell completely us. honest, April, Wait, we, I really was hoping that you and Reinhold would play together because I have some eerie feeling that you guys know each other's game so well that you would have been so compatible and hard to beat on that table. Yeah, yeah. We, I think, um, you know, as much as everybody would, would think that we would play together, I it really, after I played with Alex at Omega, it never really, like, cro like I just thought to myself, like, <laughs> Yo, I got Alex locked in. Like, right? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. No offense, Chris. No oh, offense. My guys. Like, okay, I'm not saying Chris ain't Alex's speed. I'm right. Alex. Alex is like Alex. Like, he's Alex. 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 Come yeah. on. Well, I mean, April, um, tell us. Tell, okay, we know how Alex is by himself. Like, we yeah. know when he's playing, he's that character. He's that person that everybody loves watching. Yeah. Tell us how he is as a partner. Oh, my gosh. Like, so th it was two different experiences. So with Omega Open, it was open talk. So that's why we did so well there, I think, because he was like, do this. And I was like, got it. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this is what I want you to tell me because you you can he can see the table so much better than I can see it. Um, as far as like if there's an easier way to get shape on a ball, <laughs> he's going to tell me the easier way. Where in my right. head, I'm like, yeah go five rails, get perfect on this ball, and it never, ever works. So yeah. <laughs> tap it in. Like, just give it a nice little tap, and we're good. So Omega was fun in that sense because, like, I really didn't really didn't have to think that hard because he was like, just do this. And I was like, got it. It's done. And, and um, this That's my kind of partner. Don't make me think for myself. Just tell right. me what you want me to do. <laughs> In this event, it was different because you couldn't talk and, you know, he would have his idea of what was supposed to happen. And I was like, oh, yeah, no, not one time did I even see, you know, that that side of the table that you would have left it on. Or, you know, I didn't see what he would have done. And it was very much more a learning experience this time because he explained everything afterwards, you know, like anything that went wrong or that went differently. Not Amazing. Different. That's awesome. Open my eyes to like the other options that I could have taken that were, he goes, there's no right, there's no right shot or right, right. decision. 
every everybody does what they're comfortable with. So if you do what's comfortable for me and not comfortable for you, you might miss the ball com- entirely. So he was very much, like, he's just very an open thinker. I've never met yeah. somebody as open that's like, yeah, that's not a bad shot. It's just not what I would have done, you know? Right. Well, so. it showed in your, in your performance. I mean, you guys ended up second. <laughs> yeah, first yeah. and second. I mean, I mean, it I mean it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> like the, the two pick of the litters as well, right? Um, April and Alex went first and then um, Mary and Carlo got taken second and then everything went down from there with everybody else. And then you guys end up playing for the hot seat. You end up coming back and playing. You won the first set. I mean, tell us a little bit about the, the, um, I know you guys probably competed a lot against each other in singles, but how was it with doubles having a champion on your guys' side? Go ahead, Mary. Either one of you guys. Yeah. It's intimidating. I'm going to be real. <laughs> I would have been nervous. I'll say it right now. I'm I'm like, like, oh my God, um, please don't make me look dumb. <laughs> exactly. Like piggybacking from what April mentioned, um, you know, we're going to play our game and it's going to be entirely different from the other person. And the thing with Carla and I um, was the height difference. So I love far shots. I'm very comfortable with them. He, he he always questioned me. And I was like, well, because I'm short, like I just I'm <laughs> with. Um, so it was intimidating, but also it was like it was very empowering because he could have partnered up with anyone and you could have um set him up with any other girl, but you decided to reach out to me for a reason, and I'm very appreciative of that. Um, but it's, it was a lot of pressure on me because there's that standard now. Like, mm-hmm. oh, they are the team to beat. Carlos on the team. Um, so. Uh, but that's exactly what everybody was thinking when April and Alex got teamed up because I didn't know they oh, were a yeah. team until that day. I was like, man, that's going to be a monster team. Cause oh, I was, yeah. I was, I was like, I was like that, that's the team to beat. It's like, okay. So when we were playing them in the finals, the first set, they were just, they were on it. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, it's gonna go to the second set. We'll see how this goes. Because <laughs> we're playing that good. And then we 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 got some rolls and it just went our way in the second set. But by far they are the best, like at least um for scotch doubles, the best team out there. Because their personalities mesh so well and they're little fireballs. <laughs> so they know how to <laughs> it in, honestly. Never tame down that yeah. fire, April. Always keep it flaming. Right. So I April, say, why do you dress the way you do? And I'm like, until I'm dead, I'm going to continue doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, tell us about um, yours going playing doubles um, with them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have never like experienced the same energy that I have in somebody else until I met Alex. <laughs> like <laughs> at the table, he don't care. He he will like dance if yes. a good song, like a rhythm, like he will dance in the middle or like make up a song <laughs> while we're playing. I don't know. <laughs> He's just goofy. And it's so fun because it's honestly, the more he does that, the looser I get. Right. Like the- it makes you a little more relaxed. Yeah. Like, okay. It's it's not that big it's, of a deal. It, exactly. <laughs> it's not that serious. When when he's, when he's serious, there are moments to be serious. So I understand why right. he's serious, but when he's serious, then I'm like, Oh, okay. So now I got to be serious. And I'm like, yeah. okay. you're <laughs> taking <laughs> cues. That works well. I'm like, let's not disco party in the finals. Like, let's, right. yeah, <laughs> we got to be serious here. Yeah, so unless like, Alex starts it. Yeah, and then you're good. <laughs> Listen, we can't be acting goofy right now. Right. So, but like, we will out in the parking lot after it's over. Right, yeah. right. So, <laughs> those serious moments, it was, I, I'll agree with Mary. I was like, literally, if you miss this shot, like, that's what I was saying in my head. <laughs> but I'm like, make the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Just make what the ball. If you leave him bad, it's his problem. I'm like, get him back to the table, my guy. Like, do not. And I missed a 10 ball. I missed a 10 ball. And um, after I missed it, I was like, you're done. I'm like, sit down. <laughs> you're done. Go sit down, corner. You do not deserve another shot at this table. Go I would have been like this. I wouldn't even looked at him. Oh, no. For, no. Like, wanted to pull my shirt over my face and be like okay so can i just disappear or is that not an option well, it's awesome that it was alex because he's probably thinking ah, i would have probably missed it too uh, he goes he goes at the end of the match i'm like 
let's just address the elephant in the room. I'm really sorry I missed that tempo. <laughs> He's like, goes, I would have done it. Too. <laughs> he goes, honestly, he goes, I would have shot it in the side. I shot it in the corner. He goes, I would have shot, shot it in the side um, just because you can let the cue ball go. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, where it's going. And I was like, you right. You right. There was a right shot there. And, and you, you are correct. I was like, because it probably would have went in the hole like it's supposed yeah. to. <laughs> uh, I would have tried it and it, I would have missed it, you know, and then I would have st- sat there and said the same thing. It's like, well, both of them, I still missed it. So, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> So how was your experience with them when you guys were playing, like, not at your level? Like, when you guys were making mistakes, like, was it when you got back to the seat, they, like, everything was quiet? Or, like, did they, like, did they go, hey, you know, it's okay, just do maybe do this next time or take a little bit more time? Like, did they give you some insight on that? Yeah, yeah, like, once in a while, like, if if I look clueless, right, <laughs> I'll get insight. he'll be like, yo, uh, what were you thinking there? And I'm like, to be a hundred percent honest, I'm really not sure. Um, now that I have to explain it to you. I have no words. Um, I'm like, I can't even tell you what I was trying to do there. And, but other times, like if he knew what I was trying to do and it just didn't execute it properly, he's like, no, that was the right shot. Like it, it happens. Sometimes no. it doesn't work, you know? Um, so yeah, if, if it wasn't the right, like if, again, there's no right or wrong shot in his eyes, but if, if he would have done something different, and he saw something different, he would provide in, insight right then and there. So I knew what shot he was talking about. But if I like did what he would have wanted me to do, if, if he could talk to me um, and it just didn't go well, he's like, it's okay. Like it's, you know, he was like, well, just wait for our next shot. You know, it was super. Awesome. And, and that's great. What about um, you? What about you, Mary? That's great. I mean, that's good to know because yeah, a lot because of people are looking at this and they're like, man, are they talking on the sidelines? Because when right. you're watching the stream, you're like, are they talking? Are they quiet? Because, you know, most Scotch, at least here in Arizona, there's no talking. Like, you're double partners, but you cannot talk at all. And okay. what's Interesting. crazy Interesting. We that, don't have that on this side of the country. Yeah. And so what's crazy is that, but when you go to the Nationals and you go to BCA and everything, there's allowed coaching in the double. So I kind of think that I'm like, Arizona, why don't you guys allow the coaching at the sidelines, but not at the table like they do in Vegas. So your mindset and everything's right. So that's why I was trying to ask you guys these questions. And I'll go with Mary as well. Like, did, how was Carlo when it came to like mistakes and um, shot selection? It was the same. He would um, he would ask me like, "What were you doing?" And I'll tell him. He's like, "Oh, you should have done this." And in my head, I knew what he was going to say because right when I like shoot the shot, I'm like, "Yeah, but he's going to tell me what I." <laughs> Uh, and I knew in the back of my mind what I was supposed to do, but clearly I didn't, you know. Um, so he would do pretty much the same. We didn't talk as much um, when I, I'm saying I, when I made mistakes, because um, throughout the whole tournament leading up to the finals, he did not make one well, mistake. I don't recall. Okay, but in the finals, <laughs> in the finals, and I'm pretty sure April will agree with me. Carlo did not play his best, and Did you put him on your back, and you fired in that seven ball to make Woo! a statement. And I tell you what, when he got that shape, because he ran into that 10 ball with the cue ball, I was so amazed that it hit the 10 ball because his cue ball is mm-hmm. almost as good as Alex's cue ball, right? Yeah, Especially when he's strength. going multiple r- <laughs> rails. Yeah, mm-hmm. Carlo. And when he hit that and left you there, I was like, okay, I go, I'm talking to my buddy Anthony next to me. We're sitting there watching. I'm like, she has to be playing safe. And, man, you fired that ball right in. And I'm just like, and Carlo was like, the look on his face, it was like, okay, we're back in it. <laughs> well, okay, so I remember that shot, and I I messed up on the shake to the six. I wanted to get him um, straighter than yeah. that, and I left him an angle where he was going to make contact because he was looking at the combo. And I was like, oh, please do not give me a combo. Yeah, you wish that you had that confident. Filipino language, right? You're like, <laughs> yeah, speak a little bit. No combo. Yeah, <laughs> Let me touch it just a little bit. Get that luck. And then I'll fire it in. Yeah. <laughs> so with that shot, I was very comfortable with it. Because, again, I love leaving myself far. And I do mess up on my shape occasionally. We've all seen it. So um, I was just very happy that I was able to make that shot. And I'll hear, like, his little comment. He's very quiet. And he'll say, like, oh, that's my partner. Like, that's not my <laughs> yeah, really quiet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so I was really fortunate that I was playing um, well uh, during the finals. Yeah, well, not well, I heard you ladies were on fire. Yeah, I was preparing to get back to the table, and then when I saw the seven go in, I was like, oh. Wow. Well, see, there's a she, she did that with a Thor tie. Well, April had a um a D cut shot on the five, and I thought she was going to play a safety, and I was ready. Like I was looking, I couldn't want to shoot, and I was chalking, and then she sliced it in. I'm like, be humble, stay down. I was like, you yep, have to shut me up. up. <laughs> I you sat had down, sitting like, there okay. like we're getting back, bro. I'm like, we're getting back. And <laughs> you didn't let us back. And I was like, oh, I'm totally kidding. I'm like, no. <laughs> Alex, my bad. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> so, uh, so I have a split question because, um, April, this is my first time meeting you out there and actually get to see you play live. Cause I see you all over social media and it's fantastic for everything happening on social media and to present everything and you do great with your sponsorships and everything but it was very impressive because i won i never looked up your fargo i never knew how you played just seeing bits and clips of you on facebook and when i actually got to meet you i mean you were so down to earth so open to talk to anybody it was very very pleasant conversations that we had and to watch you play and to see that you played at that level because i i tell you i had no idea and it was very impressive to see and to watch both you ladies um, come out and attack from the get-go was was great. So, um, again, you've been active, April, for a while, and Mary hasn't in a long time. So I wanted to see, like, you coming to bigger events, April, like what your thought process is in going into the event, and then also we'll go to Mary with um, – with you not being active as much of being out on playing on the events, what was your thought process going into the women's event? Yeah. So as far as me, I'm, I play every weekend, you know, as, as you said, I'm very active on social media about like my schedule and everything like that. But um, yeah, I'm, this year is a new year for me. So like mentally I'm trying to transition from like, going to like this, this year, I'm not playing any WPBA events. I did not sign the contract this year, just from some conflicting um, issues with mm -hmm. a couple things. And so I'm, I'm kind of switching my gears in my mind as to like what to focus on this year, instead of like playing the number one players in the world, as like <laughs> Kelly Fisher and Christina to catch all the time to, um, playing and like on a nine footer like this was the first nine foot event of the year I believe everything else has been on a bar box so I'm switching my mind to now like playing on bar boxes more often and so for me at least I, I never go into a tournament being like this is I, I'm this is a lock for first like I don't think anybody should ever go into a tournament like that because nine ball is nine ball so right. good luck and, trying. Anybody's getting. and also I sat down and we talked about that too because I said I don't know all the ladies that are on here and I want, and you gave me a kind of a list through of who you kind of struggle with or who you kind of put yourself up there with, like what other ladies are up there with you. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I, I go, I went into this tournament and I told everybody, I'm like, you know, at, like you said, Mary has kind of been out of, you know, the, the spot. I mean, you've, you've been working, you know, you've had a life outside of pool for a while now. And I told everyone, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, if you think that that match is not going to be hard for me to like, I'm like, she, I, I kind of I kind of snitched on you, Mary. I told everyone, I'm like, she's the only American to ever win Junior World Championship. Uh -huh. kind of <laughs> <laughs> she did. Ever bronze. She won. I'm like, she won. <laughs> I'm like, if you don't think that's going to be hard for me to even, like, I, I'm like, she's going to, yeah. I, I, I told everybody, I'm like, she, she is going to be the, in my opinion, the toughest one of the field for me. And clearly... We, we see she she you know she played flawless and it was fun like i literally told everyone i couldn't even be mad like <laughs> you can't get mad if you're just sitting there no. i mean <laughs> well we were playing too. great that match that fine i told her i was like win or lose like i felt like we performed very well and i like if april would have double dipped me i wouldn't be upset because at the end right. of the day you know you if you make the mistake you deserve to lose, right? Mm -hmm. It's nobody's fault. So why get upset at your opponent? Why be upset losing? Like, it'll sting a little bit, but 
we play, we played great and we we're having fun. Yes. Right. With mm-hmm. every, in every aspect in any game, you just play your best. I mean, anything could happen. The uh, humidity in the room could be different than what you shot an hour before that. Everything changes with each second that goes by. So um, your mental game, as long as your mental game is on point, you can't ask for anything better than that because your mechanics ladies are excellent. Yeah. Nick has praised you guys over and over. And I'm sorry that I missed it, but I was at another tournament. (laughs) But I will see you, Miss April, at the Scotty Townsend. I will be there next week. (laughs) Be there, be square, my girl. (laughs) Absolutely. So, so Mary, tell us about um, you choosing to come out and start playing and playing um, at Texas um, and all that um, good stuff. Yeah, so I actually... um, I signed up for the first uh, Skinny Bob's event pre-pandemic, and um, unfortunately, I couldn't make it because um, my husband's friend, our friends, were coming into town that weekend. So I decided against it. So I've always wanted to play the tournament. Um, so when I saw the flyer back in December, I, I straight up told my husband Daniel, "I'm like, I'm going. I'm going. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not going to talk about no matter what. I'm telling you this ahead of time." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like when it's close by um because i do work so it's hard for me to get out to tournaments and um i've always wanted to go to texas so and then with the doubles event initially i wasn't planning on it um but i wanted to see who would reach out to me so thank you nick <laughs> um, <laughs> for that but uh yeah it it wasn't like a hard decision to not play in that event because there are more uh, women's events out there and more open events, but because of my schedule, I had to really pick and choose, and that tournament worked with my schedule. Same with me. I I was like, well, I can't go to the Texas Open because I've already promised myself to a different tournament next month, and I try only to hit one major tournament a month because I do work full time, mm-hmm. you know. And it's hard for me to get out to some of these tournaments when everybody's like, please come out here. And I miss a lot of the ladies' events, which is kind of unfortunate. So I'm kind of glad that some of the ladies are going to attempt the Scotty Townsend. You guys have just as just as good of a chance as the men do. I mean, you just got to outrun it. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes it's kind of easy. It depends on how late they were up the night before. <laughs> that was and that was that was another thing, Mary. I don't know if you agree with me. That was a long tournament. That was- oh man, yeah, my feet. And like I was playing in like I don't, it was probably the the height of the tables because they were generally a lot higher yeah. than what I'm used to. And oh, really? I felt a cramp. I was like, oh, it's real. It is real. Yeah. <laughs> Strange. Like, I didn't yeah, realize you feel that like one problem. side, like especially the stream table, and you ladies being short. Oh like, yes, I did see that at Skinny yeah. Bob's. It is yeah. kind of weird. Uh, yeah, one one side is a lot lower than the other side, but they have like where they boost the table up so it's level. But right. I mean, like you two and Alex were using the bridge on some shots, and you're like, that would never be like that anywhere <laughs> else. And like, if they're not there, like that's how I felt uncomfortable when I was playing chip. I was playing great all day, and then when I come into that table, I'm like. Man, I feel like I'm ten feet tall over here, and I feel like I'm my wife's size over here. Like, <laughs> yeah. And you're playing chip, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no good. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see, Miss April. Where other than the Scotty Townsend, what kind of uh, list have you got for this year? Have you already got it all the way through to December booked? For the most part, yeah, we had to make a couple adjustments because some of the I, I was planning on signing the WPBA, so we ha- we're trying to find other tournaments to take over those weekends. But yeah, for the most part, like I'm just kind of going as as the tournaments come. I have open weekends because I know that there are certain events that haven't been released yet, right. like dates. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I get invited to any matchroom events, those are kind of up in the air too but for example i'm going to ta- uh scotty um i'm trying to stay in the texas area because that's why so I you'll moved. hit big time uh billiards right yep. before the buffaloes event then uh am i going to that is that what you said mm-hmm. are you um, going to hit that event as well um i know that i just saw the flyer for the big time so that's in may right yeah she just i believe it. so yes <laughs> yeah 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 so i gotta i gotta check the uh schedule but yeah, it's 
everything's filling up real quick. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's crazy fast. this year. Yeah, it's, it's, there's like so many. That's the problem. There is so many, and they're all happening within either a couple of days of each other, yeah. or literally the following yeah. weekend. Like, like, check this out. You have the memorial, right? The first through the sixth, right? And then you have the triple Oklahoma. crown, and then you have, or oh, sorry, you have Oklahoma, and then you have the triple crown, and then you have all of Vegas. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I'm married. And it's a like, I, mean, loser. I mean, man, I would be gone for a full month, and I guarantee you, I don't know if my stuff would be outside if I was it gone. It would be for a outside. Month, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I have to pick and choose because I have two, I have three kids, and I also have a wife, so I have to pick and choose. So I can just see how it is with you guys. With okay, where are we flying to? Where we're we not flying to? Okay, we're gonna stay home for a couple days or whatnot. Expenses. It gets expensive. April, have you been able to get the uh, support that you're needing to get to these events? Oh, absolutely. Um, I have. So you want to you want to plug those sponsors right quick? <laughs> do you have uh, ten minutes for me to? Just <laughs> I do. No, that's okay. how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've I've signed with some amazing people. Um, and yeah, I I mean everybody. Everybody's supported me since day one. I'm pretty, I'm pretty blessed to be in this in this position I'm in. Because when I if I post a raffle or if I post anything, it's sold out within minutes, and I'm like, it's incredible to see. You know, it, it just kind of warms your heart a little bit. But you have yeah. an awesome following. Um, yeah, exactly. I wanted to incredible. ask you one thing. Yes. Um, the junior players, and this goes out to you too, Mary, because you played in those junior events. I am on that bandwagon with Joey Gray about getting these kids all the support and the coaching that they need. Mm -hmm. uh, April, do you have any advice for the young women out there that are struggling with their game? And, you know, you guys get disappointments left and right. Do you have any advice for these young ladies on keeping their nose to the grind? Yeah, I mean, I'm very, I'm very much so a mental player. Like I, I agree more than anything that the game is like 95% mental and 5% mm -hmm. physical. And as much as people want to say it, females are more, um, you know, they're more emotional about the game. Like they get more attached, like I get more attached to the game. Like I have cried so much in my life over this <laughs> game when I was younger and I guess the biggest thing that I could give them advice for that I didn't know is you need to take care of your mental. Like you need to take care of it because if you keep pushing yourself and pushing yourself and keep like feeling disappointed that you're not first every time and X, Y, and Z, like you need to be gentle on yourself. Like it is not the end of the world, you know, and um, just as positive as you can stay is the best because if you, if you let a lot of negativity, there's a lot of negativity in this sport, you know, you need to, you need to just be able to fade it, you know, f figure if you need to talk to somebody, talk to somebody, do something, but don't let it like eat away at you. Cause you will burn out. You will start to like feel um, like uneasy towards the game for a reason. That's not the game's fault. If that makes sense. Like it absolutely you. does. I mean, yeah. as young girls, we go through a lot of, like you said, emotional things. Yeah. And it's been a while since I was a teenager. <laughs> but well, yeah. I can only imagine how they feel when they're out at these junior competitions and they don't fare as well as they felt like they should. So they're yeah. looking up to you and Mary to guide them. You know, yeah. even though you don't know them, they know you. So I want to say thank you to both of you ladies for being fantastic representatives for these young ladies and up and coming because they do need mentors and you guys are doing a great job. Mary, the same question to you. Do you have any advice to these young ladies coming up through the junior divisions? The same, you know, um, I don't know if anybody noticed, and I know a lot of people confront me about this, both in a positive and a negative manner, which I don't understand, but um, it's like, you smile a lot or you laugh a lot. And it's like, why am I gonna like, like why I'm gonna have those negative thoughts and like be mad? Like, yeah, sometimes I'll probably like slam my chalk against the rail when I mess up. But like, other than that, I'm smiling, I'm having fun. Cause in my younger years, there is so much pressure. Like, you know, the expectations and especially with my family too, my, like there's five of us in the family and we all played and my sister, Michelle, like she was like the top woman player in California at the time. So there were so many expectations as far as like, 
oh, that's Michelle's sister. She's going to win the tournament. And like, I remember there was a time where I was the favorite to win uh, junior nationals in uh, Michigan some time ago. And I, I took dead last and I felt so awful. Like I didn't want to play anymore. And that was it. And it wasn't until really that I got with my husband that he um, told me to get back into the game. And I just learned to have fun. So my advice to the younger generation is have fun, live in a moment and cherish these moments because later on in life, um, you're going to go to more tournaments and you're going to see people that you grew up with. Like this past weekend, I got to see um, a lot of the junior players um, we They're adults play. now. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I and mean, it's such a great feeling because we're still in it. We right. are still playing and we're enjoying life. So, um, but that would be my advice to the younger generation, just to have fun. Um, don't worry about the expectations of others. Don't think about it. Just have fun, cherish the moment and enjoy. Penguin had a question for you guys. She says, if you could go back to a younger version of yourselves and give yourself advice regarding your pool career, what advice would you give your younger self, April? Oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to go back to three years ago when I was 12. Um, oh, my gosh. That makes me feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> she is not. Don't lie. Do no, not like, lie. Um, no, if I were to back to when I started and give myself any advice um, it would be to not don't worry about like playing bad you know because everybody's going to miss you know yeah. and I kept worrying I'm like if you miss this shot do you know how bad you're going to look like <laughs> buddy it's straight in and you, you're kind of nervous so like right. um, yeah I would I would I missed a lot of like crucial shots, missed a lot of crucial opportunities because I was nervous, you know, and um, I let my my brain tell me the wrong things in the, in those moments, if that makes sense. Like you're I always your worst critic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like if you tell yourself, do not scratch. Guess what you're, you're going gonna to. You're going <laughs> to. So if you tell yourself this ball's going dead nuts in the pocket, it's going, you know what I mean? Like if you, it's crazy. I'm a huge believer. Mark Wilson even told me this. He goes, try willing the ball in. Like, absolutely. Manifest it. it. And it's going to go. And I was like, okay, Mark. Like, this is an impossible <laughs> start. <It's> like, <laughs> Let's see. And I'd set it up. And it's a tough, like, cut or tough, you know, long table shot. And I was like, I'm willing it in, Mark. I'm willing it in. Went straight in. I was like, cool, 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 cool. So that works. And that's what I would tell myself is instead of telling yourself what not to do, tell yourself what to do. Cause then that's probably what's going to happen. And you, Mary, what would you tell your younger self? <laughs> to be more confident. Um, I still struggle with confidence. Uh, anytime someone tells me, Oh, you got this tournament in the bag or you're, you're good. I would always come back and be like, Oh, you're so funny. Or I'll say, um, no, I still have a lot to learn. I've done that like ever since I started playing pool. Um, always had the insecurities, um, especially like with my weight, I always struggled with it. But now I'm at a point where it's like, I don't care. This is me. I'm going to do my best. I know what I have on my plate. And if anything, I'm going to own it. If I miss it, I'm going to own that too. <laughs> you know? I'm going to own everything. And that was something that I did not have as a young child. So be more confident. Absolutely. That's great advice. That's great advice. I mean, as women in general, you know, it's in a man's world, it's difficult. It's difficult because we're judging ourselves against the men, not the other women. It's the men we're judging ourselves against. Every time I got at that pool table when I played, and I didn't play that well, um, according to you guys, I mean, no, nowhere near that. <laughs> but um, I was always in the middle of it all, and I was always that uh, the one with the camera, <laughs> writing down stuff. You know, it's like, wow, I know this person. Um, sitting there surrounded by all those men and the women that would put their cues together, it was tough being in those bars. 
when I was doing it. And that was when I was 16, 17 years old. It was tough for the girls to get up there against those guys. They didn't give us any slack at all. And we were just girls. <laughs> oh, I'll spot you some balls. I was like, dude, you don't have to spot me anything. I'll pay you straight up. I am not well, afraid of you. Well, also, like, I'm okay, so I'm, of course, I'm a guy. I'm not you ladies. But you're also but, coaching your wife. So you do correct. have a little bit of insight correct. on how okay, she so, feels. Correct. Doing so this. I recently started teaching my wife once she found the love for the game, the enjoy. I wasn't trying to force her into it because I play. If she fell in love with it, she fell in love with it. If she wanted to do something else, she does something else. I'm full, fully supportive. But she fell in love with the game. And throughout the process of like off and on for the last year, um, she'll go to tournaments and they'll play and I'll see like certain people like kind of like just slack off a little bit. And I walk up to him. I'm like, I will three foul my mom to win. I will three foul my sister to win. I go, you are not her friend. You are not her friend's fr um, husband's friend. I go by you taking it easy on her. Now it doesn't teach her anything later. Like her mistakes should need to be penalized. And that's what I tell him. And I go, if I was playing your wife, I'd three foul her if she couldn't kick. It would be – you attack the weaknesses. And and I do that, and I tell my wife, I go, it's nothing personal, but it's just that how people have to handle their situations. And right. out here, I feel that you get a little bit of like, oh, you know, oh, it's okay. I'm going to win anyways. But also, yeah, you're going to win anyways, but why don't you just win outright, you know, instead right. of just, you know, thinking that she has a chance or whatnot. And so I put that in her mind where, where like – it, you're you're just not friends on the table like like i said like if i was in the finals i three found my mom to win like i'm i'm not your mom i'm not your i mean you're not my mom i'm not your son like that's how i've always been and it just you lose you lose if you win you win it's good but you got to have that fun and that's where i get it from most of the filipinos like roberto gomez alex carlo they have a good time when they play yes, if you take the fun play, out of it it's losing. like a real job yes even when they're losing <laughs> and but when you can't stand yes, it for a while it's just so amazing so it's just one of those things where i can feel for you ladies but only because of my wife but and the other stuff like these girls out here or these junior players that are coming up need to hear from you guys that played the junior nationals that did all that cuz as much as a following that you have, April, that possibly, Mary, you don't have yet, or if you start coming she out, we're going to be, no, I know, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, like, but once they start coming out, like, a lot of them are going to be looking up to both you guys, and, like, especially since, you know, you guys played in the Junior Nationals for so long, and you got the new juniors coming up, it's just, like, it's great to, whatever feedback you can give, like, Oscar was on another podcast um, last night, and they asked him a very a couple of good questions and I'm glad I was on there and Oscar had no problem voicing anything about his stuff. And I'm telling you, it was one of the, like, it almost like changed my mind of how I look at when I go play pool. Not that I take it fully serious or whatnot, but, or get mad. I'm the guy that if I miss a ball that's straight in or a hanger and I miss it, I'm laughing. I'm joking. I feel like I'm I look up to Alex a lot because how he is a character on the table and off the table. And if you can switch your mindset instead of you getting pissed off that you missed the ball or you missed a 10 ball or whatnot. And if you switch that to like, Oh my God, I'm a dumbass. I'm like, how did I miss that? You know, like Alex, you know, I remember in the Swanee, he's playing Mitch Ellerman in 2004 and he literally misses a two foot nine ball and he hangs it. And he looks over the crowd. He's all, I just missed that ball. Me, this guy champion. And like he just gets the crowd all involved, and in, it just—it's another way to channel your 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 anger or your upset, you know, your your emotions from being pissed off about that to forget about it, and then you go to the next stage and you're good. So that's all I have. I mean, you ladies have a lot more, but I just said that's a, a little bit where I pinpoint off of my wife. Tammy Baker asked to the girls as players, "Who did you look up to or want to be like in the pool industry?" April? Allison Fisher. <laughs> Absolutely. What about you, Mary? Um, well, too. So Alec had you line. He was, I told him this straight up a couple of days ago, like, you have been my idol since day one. And it was because of his personality. Right. He was goofy. He was laughing. And then plus he played jam up pool. And um, as for the women, to be completely honest, it would be my sister. 
she I wouldn't expect it a different answer. Yeah, <laughs> she um she had this demeanor about herself, like she was just like like a killer, a killer instinct, but also so sweet outside of pool. And um I remember I remember she told me like many years ago, I couldn't beat her for like years, and she told me. <laughs> Like you're never gonna beat me because you don't have any heart, and that was true. I didn't have any heart. I didn't have any confidence, and that built me up to where I finally beat her. And then I won Junior World, and then it kept on going from there and there. So, yeah, those are the people I look up to. Fantastic. I mean, I wouldn't have expected a different answer from you. And honestly, at, um, their little one, I knew that Allison Fisher was gonna come out of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> She's that pool mom. Her and I. She's an awesome lady, and she has some fantastic stories. I mean, it, it's amazing. Ming and I spent a lot of time together in uh, New Orleans, and just to get to know her was fascinating. You know, each one of us carries a story, and that's what, you know, Billiard Talk is about. It's about your stories and where you're going with your lives and where you come from, and we appreciate each one of you and your time because these kids are looking up to all of us actually and we need to make sure that we're doing the best that we can to make sure that those role models are up there at that standard that we need to be at so yeah. thank you ladies for coming on tonight do you have any questions for the nikon kid because you know the diva doesn't play pool she just takes a lot of pictures <laughs> <laughs> and i ask a lot of personal questions sometimes <laughs> um am i okay to plug my sponsors because you I are okay them. and you are a of course. Miss April. i was gonna you ask you guys sponsor. right now before you guys if you guys are gonna ask me you guys don't have to but um do you guys each have a um a fan page or is we it would love to make sure page? that we're sending these people yes. over there to your fan pages yeah i mean i have an instagram um it's the grinder and then i have a facebook personal page that's kind of full right now and then i have a a fan page. I, I'm trying to post more from my fan page because um, now my personal page is so full that I like I want everybody to see it. So we'll, we'll see if um, I get some action there. But yeah, I I have Instagram and Facebook. So okay. what about you, Miss Mary? I just have my personal account. Um, I have Instagram under the sweet killer, which is my um, nickname in the pole world. And then my um, my personal page on Facebook. So Maybe I'll create a fan page. I, I told Nick this, but I want to like, I want to earn my way up where I want to like make a statement before I do anything like that. So that's me. Well, you I, made I a statement in Texas. <laughs> I was just going <laughs> to <Thank> you. <laughs> you made that statement in Texas. It's time for that fan page, Mary. Keyboard and fingers are going to be busy tonight. <laughs> so let's go ahead and run those uh sponsors Miss yes. April you go ahead and plug them all right uh I have Peach Hour Custom Cues who I play with um Clinkers with which is Brenna Polod out of Texas uh she's my backer the Profits Group um Six and Stones is a pool hall I play out of here Dunsky Dungeon is like my promoter um mm -hmm. IBA Pool Leagues is a pool league back home um they've been there since day one I just joined with Castillo Leather Cases. So if y'all see my glitter case. Yes, I showed my wife. My wife wants the glitter, the cute video. I swear to God, we're live. I was FaceTiming her and I was like, hey, check out this case. And she already blinged her um her V10 chalk. She literally has diamonds all around it. And she's like, I'm doing my whole case. I'm like, babe, I don't know if that's gonna come out good. <laughs> but all because do it too. it's awesome. Let her do it. Let her do it. <laughs> and then my shirts are jam up clothing, um, apparel, and then Kamui as tips, chalk, and um, other accessories I use. So those are all my sponsors. Thank you for letting me. Of course. You're welcome. And we appreciate your sponsors. That keeps you on the road and that keeps and you're, me and, in a job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, Miss Mary? Um, so. She's, she's actually the one that asked the question earlier. Tammy Baker, um, she helps support me going to these tournaments because we all know it could be um, a financial struggle on um, right. competing nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, practice made perfection. Well, I'm looking you at the camera. What the triangle one was, actually. Yeah. What's with the triangle one, Mary? Oh, that is Team Straight Pool Eye. So I'm part of that group. Um, could you explain uh, that? Kind of give us a little insight on that. 
Yeah, so it's a, a group that Eric Nelson created, and um, it's, it's more so just to promote women's pool. So he had awesome. the Triple Crown, which I had to miss um, back in December. So that's what they're all about. And then, of course, Predator, um, they sponsor me with their equipment. I've been playing with them since I was like 13 years old. So always been a lifetime um, dream of mine to represent them. And um, he's not going to believe it, but my teammate, my close friend, Kadri, he does my hair. Um, <laughs> I usually have my we hair. We have up. to plug our hair people. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, no, he, you know, he always hooks me up and um, he told me, he told me if I play league with him that he'll do my hair for life. So, but he then knows we'll we'll plug him every chance we get. Yeah. yeah. Kaya Salon. Um, that's the name of the salon and he's located in South Atlanta. So awesome. All right. Place. Anybody in South Atlanta, give Mary a call. She's got the, the hot spot for your hair day. And then what's your other patch? You have yeah. the other patch, the blue one. The blue one? That's P and P practice. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's and my um that's my husband's clothing line. So he supports Oh, me. okay. Well you need to send me that link. I'm all yes. about clothes. Yes, yes. 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 Uh, and we'll need a sponsor for next month. So if you guys would like to sponsor our podcast for next month, we would be more than happy to bring you He's guys. Watching. On. You hear that, babe? Give you guys some <laughs> exposure. Give Get him on camera. Get him on camera. He doesn't want you, but hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There is someone. <laughs> <gasps> Stop! Are you kidding me? She it? does have a puppy. Oh, there we go. April's about to cry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look oh. at all the dorbs. Oh, There's now I need oh. a dorb. Oh, oh, can I get mine? Can I get my puppy? Man. Oh, my Yours goodness. Yours is a horse. <laughs> my. <laughs> <laughs> you have a small pony. I have, hey, my puppy is small. Nick, my baby. I believe she called the puppy a monster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, we're not going to keep you any longer because I know you guys are busy. Um, I have uh, one more thing from Penguin. She wants to let you guys know, how can the fans help promote women in pool? Uh, she says, I kind of feel like you aren't looked at the same way as the men. And, I mean, I agree with her. I mean, I feel like you guys are getting kind of like the short end of the stick. Do you guys feel that way? When it comes to the promotion parts, I mean. Um, I used to feel like that, but I feel like people are realizing that and changing that. For example, um, this weekend, yes, we were not necessarily on pay-per-view when, when there were men's event or men's matches going on, but they did work with us and put a free, free stream up. Yes, so he I, did. Ray Hansen. Thank Good. You. Needed to. Awesome. <laughs> I think the best way that people can support us is share our stuff and give us views likes i mean if whether we like it or not social media is a new thing so we have to deal with it if you can just push us in, in social media shove we us got down. you baby girl we got you all day long <laughs> yeah yeah just push in any way possible on social media push women out there share share our streams share our feeds give us likes i think that's the best way you can help us out honestly yeah. And they'll Fantastic. be seeing you all in Vegas. Mary, make sure month. you send me that information, and we will make sure we get you guys on for our sponsor for next month. Thank and it'll you. run all month for you, okay? And um, we'll make sure that you. husband gets some sales for you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very Absolutely. Much. Anything we can do for you guys. Well, you thank ladies you. have a good night, and I will see you April next week at the Scotty Townsend. And Miss Mary, hopefully I'll be able to meet you soon. I'm sure we will. Thank you guys so much. No problem. Thank Thanks for coming have on. A good night. You guys nice. are awesome. Keep up the hard work. Thank you. Thank you. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you, better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad. Shit on my shoulder, cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back. I'll be swinging hard till it hits. Well, that was a great evening. I think that was informative. The ladies actually um, came with a lot of honesty, and I 
I commend them for that. No, that, that you know, fantastic. it's tough to get out there with you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we got them on. I mean, it was perfect timing. You know, they took first and second in the doubles, and they took first and second in the ladies event. I mean, doesn't get any doing? sweeter than that, does it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was perfect. So, I mean, it's great. You know, um, hopefully everybody tunes in. And if you haven't tuned in, you guys can also go to um, Inside Pool Magazine on YouTube and you can watch the episode tonight as well. Right. Well, uh, we usually upload those within 24 hours, guys. So if you've missed tonight's episode with um, the uh, Texas Tornado and Miss Mary Tam, then you'll be able to see it tomorrow, at least by lunchtime. It'll probably be uploaded before then. Um I'm going to give a huge shout out to tonight's sponsor, which he'll be sponsoring us all month. That's Action 24-7. Action 24-7 is sponsoring the Diva and the Nikon Kids Billiard Talk episodes all month. And they will be giving away one prize to one lucky winner. Nick, do you want to remind our uh, viewers how they can win? Apparently, yeah, so guys, we're doing something different. We're doing like um, find Waldo, but actually we're replacing Waldo with the pool player. And this we're planning month, on doing this every month, guys. Yes. So it's going to be a different pool player so, every month. So it's Corey Duell. So if you're at an event, if you see him at the grocery store, <laughs> if you see him out, <laughs> you see him out anywhere. But he's coming out of the bathroom. Hey, take a selfie and have him in your background. Um, <laughs> don't tell and, him. And don't Whatever tell him. Do, don't tell him. This is all a secret. He will get a prize. He will get something at the end of the month as long as with the winner as well will get a prize. So you see the email that's going through the bottom here of the screen. You email all the photos that you get with Corey being involved. No Photoshop intended. No, you can't put, you can't paste him in there. He has to be just hanging out and lingering in the back. Yeah. You know, like a normal stalker would do. We're stalking Corey this month. Yes. So <laughs> spending all your photos, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of events coming from now until um, Vegas. Right. And you guys have plenty of time. You even have the expo after Vegas. You have the Griffs after Vegas, everything. So you have a lot of chances to do this. So you have until... We'll let you know that next week. We'll let you know that answer. It's probably going to be three more weeks. And yeah, three, three more, more weeks, weeks and we'll it. cut it off. And then Unfortunately, we'll I can't win. And I can't Casey win. can't win. But it's our new game that we're playing. We want everybody to tune in. We want everybody to be involved. And we're going to post all the pictures as well. So Every guys, photo that is submitted, it will yes. be on the podcast. But only one can win. The funniest one. We'll get the Action 24-7 gear. Yes. So you guys need to submit those photos. The only way you're going to find out how to win is to tune into the podcast. We're not posting any of this stuff on social media. So the only people that will win are the people that are actually at these events. Or like you said, coming out of the grocery store, he's driving down the road. You know, all you have to do is like, scooch over at the window with him and like point at him or something you know <laughs> <laughs> or do like one of my friends did he took a photo of me and Corey's stuffing his face in the background <laughs> hey or i felt i mean don't get right hey pool players fall asleep in the chair i'm oh, just saying hilarious. i'm just saying because my daughter fell asleep next to me um <laughs> yesterday and i took a selfie and i made sure my finger was like by he her nose see, right? and i'm telling you she hates the photo, but she'll love the photo later. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And this, basically what we're doing is we're spotlighting these players because these guys are phenomenal. We're not really picking on Corey. We're kind of elevating him up without him knowing it. Yeah, and then it's going to, but it's multiple. So every month it's going to be somebody a different. different so guy. Like, or different like, pool player. Yeah. It could be a chick. It could be a, we might pick a, um, like a Ray Hansen. Yes. You know, a pool promoter. Or yes. even a Molina Mike. Ooh, the nittiness. <laughs> nitty. Hmm. I say we get Molina good. Mike next month. Or if you can get both of them, Dom and Molina. A double. Ooh, a double. That would be tough. They're fighting like they're married, so it should I be an know. interesting photo. That should be. <laughs> <laughs> I can come up with some good Photoshop skills. <laughs> so you guys get in on that. I'm going to yeah. let Nick go through his sponsors right quick because both of us have lives. 
<laughs> yes. Uh, fortunately, my wife is enjoying. Um, um, She's enjoying dinner without you, right? Yeah. Now. Angry crab, you know, mm, so much fun. Um, but um, a big shout out to Inside Pool Magazine with everything that they let us do and what they do for us. We appreciate you guys a lot. We appreciate everything that you guys do to support us and having this going on so we can get people like April and Mary on to talk about their pool life, their outside life, everything that they've done to help out everybody else. So we appreciate you guys. Um, Q-Tech, my, my love family, um, they're amazing. Um, they have great products. Now, and when you guys see me, whether it's in Vegas, whether it's here in Arizona, whether uh, anywhere, if you guys want to try something and you guys want to introduce yourself to me, come up and say hi. I'm the easiest guy to talk to. My case is open for you guys. If you guys want to try out the jump cue, the break cue, whatever, you want to try out the tips that I have or the chalk, whatever, my bag is completely open for you guys to try out. All you have to do is come up and ask and talk to me and we will be best friends. <laughs> so um, one pocket. Um, I'm you, saying you, what's in next case. It's loaded with high chews. It you is candy. loaded with. They're it's in, always, all the candy in the world's inside his it's case. It's always high chews. <laughs> um, <laughs> I even helped out um, Texas with some high chews. So, um, but you know, uh, one pocket. If you love one, they pocket, need to start paying you. <laughs> the, uh, one pocket. They are coming out with some great stuff. Um, and Melina, Mike, Joey, Ryan, um, Travis, they have some good stuff going on. They have some good stuff coming out. So stay tuned, follow their page, follow all their stuff. They are coming out with some great gear. You guys do not want to miss it. Um, Pool Player Podcast, Joey Ryan. And he brings in Melina, Mike sometimes and does the dog it um, as well. So um, watch them out. They they kind of get some good people on there. They talk about pool. They had Oscar on last night. He was very blunt, very honest with everything that he talked about. And it was very great. It was it was great to hear from a player and the experience that he's had and just putting it out there. So um, we appreciate that as well. Uh, Mike Gwynn, Realty One Group. You guys know anything or need to know anything about houses, um, selling, buying, questions he's your man to go to um we'll start having flyers hopefully next week i can get those worked on um for um for you guys to get their information um big time threads um screen printing a business out here in arizona he does great work he does everything from hats to t-shirts to pants to everything so um if you're ever in arizona or if you need some good screen printing stuff he's the guy to go to uh, rick's images he has taken several and dozen and hundreds of photos over the um, years and he has every top professional that you can think of. So if you need to update your pool room in your house or you want to get some top professionals, reach out to Rick Images and on Facebook. I believe it's Rick Smith, and he will be your man to go to for photos. Uh, Digital Pool, they're doing awesome things. Digital Pool did everything in Vegas. Um, or Sorry, not Vegas, everything in Texas. Um, for the open so they're doing big things um like their page like their fan page all of it and watch out with stuff that they're coming up and they're doing um my tom tip on um, billiards i use the chalk i use the um jump break tips their stuff is great i'm trying out other stuff um that they have with their products so um just you know if you guys like i said my case is open i have it all just come and see me thank all you right, guys um, gonna give a big um shout out. Uh, I usually don't do this, but um, actually, I did do it last week, so I'm not gonna lie. Uh, one of our own needs a little bit of prayers, Mr. James Hanshu of J uh, Hanshu Jump Cues. I uh, lost quite a bit of stuff uh, the last 24 hours, he had a fire. So, James, we're praying for you, sir. If you need anything, reach out to us. Um, big shout out to Sarah out of Aiken, South Carolina. Sarah, if you are watching, have your mom contact Autumn Grusella. She her handles at the bottom there. Uh, email her. Nick and I have something to give to you. Yeah, yeah. So um, that concludes our lovely podcast for the evening or our show um, tomorrow. Um, actually, next week. I was supposed mm. to have a gentleman by the name of Mark on the podcast tonight, and he is going to talk about life with cancer. Um, I also suffer from the same um, 
the same illness, not necessarily same illness as him, but I also uh, suffer from a form of cancer myself. So with Mr. Larry Neville passing away recently, and of course, um, the Black Widow going through her own trials and tribulations, I decided to reach out to a pool player and uh, kind of have him discuss what it's like for him and his struggles that he's going through now um, for information for ourselves. And so you guys know what it's like for a pool player like Mr. Larry Neville to still want to compete, but you know, life gets in the way that way you guys kind of get a little insight on what it's like for pool players to be human. So you guys look out for that podcast. I'll have that coming out and it'll be a recorded cast and you guys can watch it anytime you want to. So with that being said, a big shout out to where is my posted up apparel. They're the my new uh sponsor oh, yeah. coming out Looks of like Florida. A really nice jacket too. Yes, and I got all my patches. <laughs> I'll put all my patches on it. Uh posted up apparel is a new company coming out of Florida. They uh Sponsored our podcast last month, and uh, they're sponsoring the Diva, along with uh, Pullaholic Gear. Pullaholic Gear sponsors myself and Mr. Chaney White out of Tupelo, Mississippi. Chaney is an up-and-coming junior player. Uh, Enterprise Car Rentals. If you're needing a car and you get to an airport and you need a rental car, rental uh, Enterprise has a given our pool players a 10% discount on their car rentals, which is doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it's more than what you think. So if you go to um, our main page, which is www.insidepoolmag.com or insidepoolmagazine.com, uh, there and go scroll all the way to the bottom. There is a little link there that says Enterprise. If you click on it, it will take you to your rental reservations and you'll get your discount there. That also lets Nick and myself know that you guys are actually using what we were trying to provide for you. Everybody needs a little break sometime. Also, um, I'm missing somebody. Not sure who it is. (laughs) Uh, Big shout out to uh, Gates Cleaners out of Huntsville, Alabama. They also make sure that the diva gets the time off that she needs so she can take care of some of (laughs) And what you can't get to, you just understand that that place needs me. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, they probably don't miss me sometimes. I'm so clumsy. Anyway, I'm going to let Nick get to whatever he needs to do because the diva's got some things that she needs to take care of. And she will see you all all next week on Wednesday and possibly before that with my interview with Mr. Uh, Mark Jennison. Yeah. um, Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We appreciate it. And we will see you guys next week. Next week at 8 o'clock. Central Standard Time. Central Standard Time. <laughs> you guys have I won't mess up this time. I won't mess up this time. I got it. <laughs> See you guys at Scotty Townsend. Bye, Nick. Bye, guys. <laughs>